This is a search and rescue fireworks booth here on uh, Rosemont Boulevard in Eagle Way. And right across here is the other booth that they have to raise funds in the Albertsons parking lot. So they're pretty well set up. Okay, Mr. LeBlanc, uh, Search and Rescue is running this fireworks booth on uh, Roseman Boulevard across from Albertsons. Yes, sir. Is this your first year? I think you've done it year after year. It's been, been a few years. I'd say at least probably, I know of at least five. Five, uh-huh. And if not more. Yeah, <laughs> might be more. Uh-huh. Uh, but this configuration, and we've had we've had older fireworks booths, but we've just been in this one, I think, about five years. Uh-huh. I see. Oh. And uh, all the members take turns, basically? Uh, it's, uh, we have a, a sign-up sheet that, that's filled out by, by the corporation that we um, are members of. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh... How many members do you guys have? I'd say roughly 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Round numbers. Uh-huh. I've interviewed some of them before. And the vehicle and everything. Yeah, good. And uh, who makes these fireworks? Are these safe and sane? Are these they are safe and sane. There's nothing leaves the ground. Fountains and stuff of that nature. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, what are the rules here in Kern County? Can be shot anywhere? Um, is there certain, might be certain areas you can't, but mostly Kern, mostly Kern County. To ask me, you can't um, have fireworks. Of any type. Cal, how city. about Cal City? Do you know? Uh, Cal City, maybe. I'm, I'm yeah. not totally sure about the whole county itself. Uh huh. But around here, Rosemont, since we're just county, yes, sir. Doesn't matter. Uh, yes, sir. To my understanding, you have to check with local uh, local law enforcement to ensure that you do it correctly. Uh huh. Yeah. Just don't start any fires, right? Yes, sir. Nah. <laughs> I guess there's been a large number in California so far. Just. This fire season, so it well, would be better not to do that. Yes. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah, for sure. And the water, the water, the rain has not come like it's done in the past. So yeah, there are dry issues with that also. True, true, true. So people got to be extra careful. And diligent, very diligent. Yeah. And who are your helpers here today on this hot? I'm Andre and Liza. Been... Oh man, spell that for me. <laughs> The attorney, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm also the, the secretary of uh, search and rescue. Oh, I got uh, it. So, although I haven't been here nearly as long as the blog, uh -huh. I, I think you also uh, the other gentleman ranks me by uh, about a month or so. Uh -huh. but, uh, otherwise, yeah, we do uh, the fundraising for the corporation here. Sure. And the corporation is able to uh, acquire different assets so that we can make life a little easier for us in helping people. Uh, be it first aid uh, items, uh, we just obtained what may seem kind of ridiculous right now, but in the wintertime it's wonderful, uh, self-activating and reusable heat packs. Oh yeah. Which are just wonderful when you need them. Sure. And um, a lot of us got extra ones because, you know, they're, they're very useful. But the corporation uh, was able to uh, purchase a bunch and divvy them up to all the members that go out on searches. Oh, well, that's uh, good. And we do searches and we also do uh, public relation events, and we also go out to uh, places like Dove Springs uh, yeah. um, for different weekends, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and keep an eye on things, and if people need help, then we go out and help. Sure, so, sure, okay. sure, and they do need help. Oh yeah, and then we've been monitoring also county frequencies <coughs> to, to make sure that if something's needed, we're sort of kept attuned as to what's going on, so that even though we're doing this, uh, we're not waiting for the last minute for the actual call out from uh, Bakersfield. We're actually keeping a tune so that we, we're keeping a separate set of eyes, shall we say. Sure. What the Sheriff's Department or other people are doing, Cal City, uh, the dirt team they call themselves, what they're doing so that uh, we're ready to back them up if we get called. Uh -huh. I'm going to be self-launching of course, but yeah. if we get called we are already ahead of the power curve because we've been listening. Yeah. And you know, yesterday we were listening to some events, but nothing came of it because it was taken care of by those agencies. So it yeah. was all well. Uh huh. But you know, it's it's a uh, part of what we all do, and it's all volunteer. Yeah. So you know, this is part of what we do also: volunteer to raise funds. Sure, sure, sure. 
And a good way to do it. You got a good spot too, I think. Oh yeah. And right here. Folks, yeah, those folks over there in that shopping center, they yeah. collect people coming out of the shopping center. Right. And then we're out here where we've been for quite a few years, as Mr. LeBlanc said, and I've been doing this, I guess this is my third year of doing this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we all help out. I mean, it's not a requirement, but yeah. yeah, we're all here as volunteers and we all volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you have to be 16 years of or older to buy uh, yes. buy these. Yes, and we uh, have to check IDs, and then some. A lot of times you see mom and dad and uh, a bunch of kids come in to buy fireworks, and Junior picks them out, and uh, of course we, we tell mom and dad we have to hand it to mom and dad, and then it's up to mom and dad to supervise it because often Junior wants to grab the bag, and you know no, we have to follow protocol, which we do. We're pretty careful about that because yeah, for rules. sure. Yeah. On how to handle the fireworks. Uh huh. But they're exciting. They're exciting to kids. And uh, oh yeah, and we we can sort of direct young moms and dads and different age groups and different things that they tend to like. And uh -huh. Certain specials that we have and certain combination packs. And they're all safe and sane, so that means nothing leaves the ground, basically. That's right. Uh, you know, we've got sparklers that they don't leave the ground. They're, yeah. we'll, you wave them around in your hands. Right. And uh, other things, they sit flat on the ground, you light them and you get away from them. Yeah. And that's basically the two categories of what we have. Uh, and yeah, nothing launches at all. Uh, basically, as, as I understand it, for every item that is illegal, that is either explosive, and none of these are explosive, or that launches into the air, I think the fines exceed $2,000 per item. <laughs> so, no, we wouldn't carry it, and we discourage people from buying them because there are certain forfeiture laws that could come into play also. You could lose your vehicle if, if you're transporting them in the vehicle and things like that. I don't know all the laws, I just heard bits and pieces, but basically it's very uh, bad news yeah. if you have that kind of article and if you happen to get caught with that article. Yeah. So it's better just to avoid it, buy these items, you'll get a lot of fun out of them. And uh, you know you'll end up contributing to a worthy cause. Sure, and sure. There are other causes out here through town and throughout the county, but you know, we're open and we opened yesterday. Yeah. So we were one of the early openers. So. Uh huh. Well, I hope you sell a ton. Thank you. And uh, and I know these strict laws. Uh, a little bit of history of them. Uh, my brother works. He's a doctor and works in the emergency room and and. Uh, when they had the rockets and things, some of the tragic accidents, I, you know, after you go through a lot of those year after year, you can see the wisdom of not having the ones that leave the ground. Yeah, uh, you can start a lot of roof fires, especially with the shake roofs. Modern housing mostly has the asphalt and the, and now the ceramic or cement tile type things, which are much more fire resistant. True. But if you have a shake roof and you get a rocket, it could light off many many hours later yeah because it'll smolder yeah so yeah that those i understand although you know <laughs> people my age we remember the cherry bombs the m80s the firecrackers and i grew up near the mexican border so i was within 12 miles <laughs> of the border so oh yeah i had my share of firecrackers and m80s and, you know, and uh, things like that but that is no longer legal model rockets and all that oh yeah and if you go to mexico uh, for the season either New Year's or what have you, you can buy yourself some of those items and they're legal down there, but not up here. No. It's just, you no. know, if you're gonna do it, do it down there. Yeah. But again, be careful for the reasons that you mentioned because you know, you've known people that uh, mishandle them and they can lose a finger. That's right. Yeah, and I've noticed coming across Southern Arizona that the tribes sell them on oh, yeah. the reservation and people stop and load up and then they transport them, and they really are, are really shouldn't. Yes, there's a there's a large place there, not too far from St. George in Nevada. Again, a tribe uh -huh. that's selling them. They have a permanent place out there. Yeah, and yeah. You, you should not bring them into the state because of all the heavy fines. Yeah. And if you get caught with them, uh, you better have the right permits. And uh, <laughs> I have a friend who's with the movie studios, 
who handles pyrotechnics and he has the right permits. Uh -huh. They don't hand them out very easily. No, 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 and no. You have to have a reason for the permit. A sure. Need for the permit. Sure. So they're the exception. For the yeah. regular folks, even I, I wouldn't have the permit. I have no reason for it. Yeah. So yeah. no, I don't. I don't have it. Uh huh. Well, I hope you raise a whole bunch. Well, thank you very much. You thank bet. You thank you. By. And give me your name right at the end of this. So yes, it's Andrew Edward Brisano. B R I S E N O. Thank you so much. Thank you.